Mashuku Tensei, or more commonly known as Jobless Reincarnation. It's an anime I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time. The reason being is because this anime has stirred up a lot of controversy amongst the anime community. Half the people come together to defend this anime with a passion and worship the ground it walks on, saying that this is one of the best isekai ever made. The other half want it burned at the stake, and they want its existence wiped off the face of the earth. And you're probably wondering, why? It's just an anime, right? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today, alright? And as someone who's caught up to every single season so far, I'm going to be giving you guys my two cents on the whole entire topic. Because I think that both sides have points that need to be highlighted. So let's get started. Before we start, I want to let you guys know that I'm only going to be talking about this from the perspective of an anime exclusive watcher. Because I have not yet caught up on the light novels. So therefore, if you are someone who was caught up on the light novels and you know more than me, then feel free to let me know down below. Anyway, when I first started watching Mushiko Tensei, I jumped into it blind. Had no idea what it was about and I was just looking for new anime to watch. And I won't lie, it started off like every other isekai, alright? Loser guy who has no friends, has no girlfriend, usually is a virgin, has literally everything going wrong in their life. Most Isekai characters have like the worst life ever until all of a sudden a truck hits them. Pause! I don't understand who is hiring these truck drivers because you guys so this is a little side note, but I just wish Isekai would come up with more creative ways to kill off characters. Like, I mean not everyone dies by the same damn truck every single time, bro. Like, can we get some different scenarios on how people die? Anyway, once he is caught by this truck, he respawns in the new world as Rudius. Rudius Grey Rat. And so far, it starts off like every other normal isekai. He finds out that he's in a magical land full of magic and fairies and elves. He himself has magical powers and all that whatnot. And this is where the story actually starts for Mushuko Tensei, a.k.a. Jawless reincarnation. Now, off rip, we find out that Rudius is. How do I put this politely? Uh, creep? Nah. A actually, yeah, he is a freaking creep. A straight perv. <laughs> but it's not like every regular normal pervert shit. It was like extreme pervert shit. And in my honest opinion, that's nothing new. Like, I've come across a lot of characters who act just like Rudius. It's nothing to be crazy about. Okay? So, he's a pervert big deal there's so many pervert characters that are actually way worse than rudius so why is this anime so hated what is the beef with mushoku tensei well <clears throat> that's until i found out something about this guy that i didn't pick up before i found out that in rudius's previous life he was a bit of a a bit of a pedo. Now, I won't even cap, I didn't even pick this up when I first started. I literally had no idea until I came across some TikTok videos talking about it. So let's watch those right now. I am generally convinced people who defend Rudius Greyrat from Mushoku Tensei have not read the novel. The reason why Rudius got kicked out of his brother's house in the web novel was way worse. So basically, what happened was Rudius put a secret camera in his niece's, who was 10 years old, bathroom and recorded her taking a bath. <coughs> <coughs> what the actual fuck? During his parents' funeral, instead of attending the funeral like the rest of the family, what he was doing was beating to the recording of his niece. I mean, I heard that the Mashuku Tensei anime is way more watered down than the actual, like, novels, but I didn't know how much watered down, bro. Like, you got me fucked. His brother found what Rudius was doing after he returned from the funeral was what got him kicked out of the house in the first place. There's a reason why the author of Mashoku Tensei hides his face. Mashoku Tensei has some of the most yikes things I've ever seen, and there is no reason to defend it whatsoever. And this is not even the worst thing that Rudius does. Like, I can make an entire series of just, like, crimes that Rudius does, which are just not acceptable whatsoever. When people say there's consequences to a lot of Rudius' actions, there is, there's not. <clears throat> yeah, that was a lot to digest, mate. I don't even know how the hell I didn't understand, but now I do. So, long story short, Rudius is one... Fucked up, mother and I think what makes it such a hard thing to swallow is because I actually think that the animation and the story writing is very engaging. I wholeheartedly believe that the only reason why Mushoku Tensei has the flack it gets is because of the main character and because of Rudius and how he acts. Now, one of the main arguments that Mushoku Tensei is a 
redemption story. And that's exactly what I thought as well. Because there's one thing is that I actually would not mind seeing a really messed up, effed up character from another world become a better man in the new world. Like that seems like something I would really enjoy watching. Super duper amazing. We get to see this weird fat loser creep pedo turn into some super duper like jacked Chad who gets all the hoes and is super duper cool and all the other stuff. Why I keep on saying super duper? That's the story that we all wanted and the story that we all asked for. But so far, it seems like Rudy is just remains the same weird creep he was back then, just in a new body and in a new world. And I think that right there is one of the biggest gripes that the anime community has with this anime. Rudy doesn't show that he's actually trying to change for the better. In fact, it seems like this side of the anime community thinks that he's taking advantage of this new world and being even more of a creep in this new world because this new world has different rules. He can be a creeper without being called out for it because they have different laws in this fantasy universe. <clears throat> like a uh, age of consent, um, maybe? I don't know. Basically, people think that Rudius is the same creeper 30-year-old man who got reincarnated into a younger version of this new body that he's in and he still has the mindset of a 30 year old man and now he uses that 30 year old man creeper mindset to prey on young girls but he can't get in trouble for it because he's the same age as these girls but in his head he's 30 years old does does that make any sense yeah it's very confusing i know my brain got fucked too and in a way i kind of agree with these people like honestly they have a valid argument that i can't even disagree with like that yeah i, I get it that's like if edp got hit by a truck and they got reincarnated into rudius and now he has free range to print all these girls because well i'm the same age now but he still has the same brain and the same mindset as edp you know does that make any sense i bet he would love that wouldn't he Ugh. let's watch some more opinion videos on tiktok jobless reincarnation should have been the most popular isekai of all time but unfortunately the main character is just so weird that it ruins the entire show for me i'm not gonna lie when i was watching this as it was coming out week to week i thought that this was the best isekai ever released Facts. the pacing was fire the animation was also tough the characters were interesting but it was still early on but as we go on through the series and we keep focusing on him rudy and the fat freak that he used to be like bro let it go you're in a whole new world now i just wish rudy would have forgot his old past and we would have fully dove into the new world that he was in like he would have been fully immersed because every time he has any sort of interaction with any female character he always goes back to being this big weirdo he be doing weird stuff it's like the same reason that people don't like fire force because of the fan service i don't like rudy when he's being strange but when he's fully immersed in the world and he's being rudy the super smart young kid it's so good it's just a dang shame that this entire story is going to be his redemption and becoming a better man but it really should have just been him being in a new world because i do not care about your past the point of an isekai is to take a normal person living a mundane life and essentially starting over and becoming this great hero in this new world or that's how most of them go we don't have to focus on the past no more you're not there anymore but it's so unfortunate because the shoku tensei is such wasted potential shout out to that guy right there because i actually agree a hundred percent I don't give two dams about Rudius's past. I wish that he forgot as well. Because like he said, the animation, the story, and everything like that is amazing. And that's the reason why I actually started watching this goddamn anime. It's also the reason why I keep on watching it now, even though I still have to put up with Rudius's weird past. Whenever we get a flashback of what Rudius used to be, I have to leave the room for a little bit, make a sandwich, I don't know, do something else until it's over, then come back and finish watching the show and immerse again, because those are the only parts that I really wish were taken out of the anime. So there's really no way to defend Rudius or how he acts, especially when it comes to the opposite set. But I also have another hot take that I think we should get off our chests right now. Despite Rudius's flaws, despite his actions, despite his past, and despite who he is as a character. I do not condone people who shame others for enjoying Mushoku Tensei. I'm talking about the people who say, oh, if you watch Mushoku Tensei, you're a weirdo, you're a creeper, you condone this stuff, and I, and I can't talk to you, and I can't follow you, and you're a strange person, I don't think people should watch this anime at all, yeah, 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 yeah. Just please stop it. Be quiet. Because people have to understand and realize that at the end of the day, we are all watching a fictional story that was made up in a fictional world with fictional characters. Calling somebody a creep or a weirdo because they enjoy Mushoku Tensei as a story 
is not only immature, but also just stupid logic. Most of the time when people are watching a fictional show, they don't condone what is going on in the show, but they are still there and enjoying the story for what it is. This kind of brain dead thinking is like saying, oh, this because you watch a TV show that has a grape scene in it, that means you like graping people. What? No. Like, do you understand how many fictional TV shows have themes of grape and pedophilia and all kinds of other stuff in it that's dark and disgusting, but the story is still good? Game of Thrones has all three of those things in it, and it's one of the most popular TV shows in the world. Even stuff like Euphoria, I haven't seen Euphoria actually, so I actually don't know if it's good or not, but if you have seen Euphoria, let me know, but apparently it has the same kind of stuff in it too. So, I'm just saying, that, that, just, that logic makes no sense. You can still enjoy a show that has dark themes in it and weird themes in it without in condoning it or liking those themes, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm trying to explain myself. For example, if you're someone who's into true crime, I like true crime, okay? And I hear about all these crazy murders and killings. Doesn't mean I like killers and murderers, right? Like, come on, bro. Like, think, bro. Think. You don't think. You never figured out how to think. It's okay for people to watch Mushoku Tensei and enjoy it and it's also okay for you to not because not everything is for everyone and of course two things can be true at once is Rudy is a weird creepy pedophile living inside of a new body yes is the writing and storytelling in Mushoku Tensei good yes is Mushoku Tensei a bad anime no would it be a better anime if Rudy wasn't such a creeper yes are you weird or wrong for enjoying Mushoku Tensei as a story? No. And are you going to continue watching it even if you don't like some of the themes in the show? Well, that's up to you. Because like I said before, <laughs> just a story, bruh. Chill. I do agree that Rudy's is a weird and creepy MC that I don't really like that much, but he's the main character and nothing we can do about it until I guess he changes for the better. And hopefully he does change. And hopefully becomes a better person because I really do want to root for the guy. But you're making it really, really hard to defend you, bro. Really, really hard to defend you. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you guys next time. And peace out. <laughs>